Hi guys, Justin Brown here. Doesn't matter if you're working on a really small editing project or if you're working on a feature film. Organizing your files is absolutely critical, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. I've seen editing computers where there's files everywhere. Some of them are on USB drives, some are on the desktop, some are on network drives. There's no true organization of the files and it can be an absolute pain in the ass to back up your files or for anyone else to come in or yourself to actually come back and to find any files that they're after. For each project we take on, we use the same folder structure throughout. So we'll start with a folder for that project. So everything to do with that project is inside that one folder. So the first folder we create inside that project folder is footage. And inside of that obviously goes all your video footage. So the way we name our folders inside of the footage folder is with the year first, then the month, then the day, and then followed by a couple of words or camera one, camera two, or Monday, Tuesday, day one, day two, depending on what it is that we're filming. But that way all the footage is easy to find and it's always sorted by the day that it was filmed. The next folder we create is for audio. So that's all your voiceovers, music, demo tracks, or anything else to do with audio or music goes in this folder. The next folder we create is for graphics. So inside of that are all your images, your photos, your 2D animations, or anything to do with graphics or images goes in that folder. The next folder we create is for project files. Inside of that is where you'll put your editing project files, whether you're using Avid, Premiere, ScreenFlow, all your actual project files go inside of there for the program that you're editing with. The next folder we create is for draft files. And that's where all your drafts or your pre-renders or your email versions, before you get to your final version of your video file, all your drafts can go in that folder. Then the last folder we create is for completed files. And obviously inside of that is all your completed files. Whether there's a version for email, YouTube, PowerPoint, whatever it is, all your completed files go inside of that folder. So what you'll end up with is one folder that's easy to back up because it's got everything to do with your editing project in there, but it's also easy and logical for other people or for yourself at a later point in time to come back and find any of the files that were used in that project. Now, instead of creating all of these folders each time you've got a new project, you can actually set up a template folder with all of the folders in there ready to go. And each time you've got a new project, you can just copy and paste and rename as you need to. I hope that tip helps. Make sure you subscribe to videoeditingcoach.com and to our YouTube channel for everything video production and video editing.